Hello, my name is Attila Bakos, and in this video, I will show you two new ACES IDTs that I've created. The first one is for Zcams ZLog2, and the second one is for GoPros Pro Tune. Uh, here we are in DaVinci Resolve 16, and I have two clips coming from the Zcam this one and this one. And I have two clips coming from the GoPro, this one and this one. Uh, the requirements for the GoPro clips are that you use ProTune and set uh, color mode to flat and set uh, white balance to native. The first thing we need to do is to make sure that our files are interpreted with the correct uh, data levels and I can tell you that the Zcam files are fine and also uh, the H.265 GoPro clip is fine. However, the H.264 GoPro clip is interpreted with video levels uh, even though it uses the full range so we need to fix that by uh, going to clip attributes and choosing uh, data levels for Okay, uh, next we need to go to the project settings and go to the color management tab and choose ASUS CC or ASUS CCT as our color science. Uh, we need to leave the input device transform at no input transform and choose REC709 as our output device transform and then click save. Uh, next, we need to select our uh, Zcam clips and then right click, go to DaVinci CTL and choose the CTL that I've created. And this is how the clips look like. Zcam also released their own IDT, but see what happens if we use that one. So, this is their IDT. Uh, I advise you to use my IDT until they fix this. Okay, uh, then we select our GoPro clips, right click, go to DaVinci CTL and choose the CTL for the GoPro. And this is what they look like. Keep in mind that you need to have the studio version of Resolve if you want to use these IDTs. If you have the free version of Resolve, then you can use the 3D LUTs that I've included in this package uh, that emulate this ACES Rec 709 look uh, very precisely. Okay, I've reset everything and here we are in DaVinci RGB mode. And uh, you can go to the LUT section and open the 3D LUT folder inside of the Zcam folder because this is a Zcam clip. And you will find a bunch of 3D LUTs here uh, that range from uh, three stops under exposure to three stops over exposure. And each LUT comes in two versions a normal version and an LC version, which stands for low contrast. And this is what the normal version looks like. This is the exact same look that we had in ACES, and this is the low contrast LUT. Okay, we go to the next clip. This is the normal version, and actually we might want to use uh, this one instead. And this is the LC version. Okay, we go to the GoPro clip, and choose the normal version and this is what the LC version looks like. And the next clip, normal version and LC version. Okay, this is all I wanted to show this time. If you like what you see here and you want to purchase one of these packages, then go to colorizer.net. Uh, there will be a link in the description. Uh, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.